when they when they go out yeah. and they um they die and they bring back the cones, yeah. what do you guys do? Do you buy the cones from them? Yeah, one time. Yeah, pay them cash. Okay. On the spot. All right. And and you you um buy depends on the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then the same cones is used in the cones festival, or this is for um export. This is not export, but we already have some for the cones festival from yesterday. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we are at Kongs Fest in Union Island 2023 and this is festival day and we are sampling the Kong dishes. We are here with Doris of Doris Catering and she's going to tell us what she has today for the patrons. Hi Doris, tell me what you have here today for your patrons. Hi, good evening everyone. Well today I did some uh, various Kong dishes. I have some Kong kebab, Kong chow mein, Kong bowls and also some Kong water. All right, so um, Dorit, seeing that this Kongs Festival is in its second year, what do you think that the Kongs Festival would do for the promotion of Union Island, the promotion of tourism, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines on a whole? Well, I think it's a very good event for our country on a whole, especially for Union Island, because a lot of people doesn't know where Union Island is, because it's so small on the map. So it's really a good um, promotion for Union Island in terms of marketing our island. It's also um, very good in, uh, in terms of generating funds and um, throughout the island as well. It also helps with local tourism and um, I encourage persons to participate yearly. Come out, have fun, come and eat Kong. Live Kong, eat Kong all the day. <laughs> And if persons want to reach you um, to get your service, how can they reach you? Uh, my number is 491-7410. My email address is Dorit Hooper, 26 at hotmail.com. Thank you, Dorit. Alright, so this is the kebab and this is the cocktail. Wait, so the Kong's bowl was made from what? Plantain. Ha a partially ripe plantain. Alright, so we're gonna try the partially ripe plantain and Kong's bowl. Very innovative. I'm not a judge, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to judge it. Sorry. So listen, you have the sweetness of the plantain, and you have the, the seasoning, and you have the salt from the tongue, right? All right, guys, so now we're going to try the kebabs, kong kebabs, everything kong today. The Kongs is very, very tender. Maybe there's a new way for me to cook Kong. Barbecue. This is very amazing. Listen, do not miss Kongs Fest 2024. I am telling you, the food, Kongs, is something to look out for. Do not miss it. name is and um, what we have displayed here today. Okay. My name is Michael Hutchinson. I'm representing Mr. Varani Pope. He started making this Kong sponge on February the 5th, 2022. He has different flavors which are the natural kind. Kong sponge with coconut, Kong sponge with peanuts, Kong sponge with Guinness and with alcohol. So what, what's the most popular one? I believe it's the one with Guinness because the first one is selling today. Yeah. 
And um, if persons want this punch, whether in Union Island or mainland or internationally, how can they get onto you? He also does a shell, a shell food delivery too, just found sea crabs and lobster. He does everything. Yeah. Thank you. Alright guys, so I've never had a uh, Kong sponge before. This is my, my first time trying this. So this is the, the plain one. This doesn't have any alcohol or any additives to it. Alright? I can't tell if it's Kong or what. Like, there's a play of flavors in your mouth, like you're tasting the spices, uh, I think I taste nutmeg and cinnamon, and like after it swallows, there's a hint of the cow, but it's not a very strong taste of cow, so you don't have to worry about that, if you're not um, too savvy with the cow. This is my um, this is my um, conch reveal. That is, I call it conch reveal because normally the conch is in the shell. We take the conch out, and then the shell just remains. So looking in, in the inside, I saw the pink beauty of the conch. So I decided to go in and reveal what's in there, and this is what you see on the table here. So this is the inner part. Then you have the, the this is the shell that, that the conch hide itself in. So you're seeing everything revealed from the, that part to this part. And um, it's a lot of work. You know, it's dirty work, but it's beautiful when you finish the product. You know, I started this about a year ago and I just bring it out in the market about two months ago. So, uh, for the local artists, or the local, you know, art designers, and you know, this is what you, you know you could take from local conch shell or anything that's local and find out what's beautiful. Just like we have beauty in us, but sometimes if we don't dig deep inside and bring it out, people would not see it. You know. So, um, this conch fest, the 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 committee is trying to make it a big event for Union Island and for tourism on a whole. How do you think that this would impact our tourism product? Well, if um, people get more involved in it, you know, look at it as uh, it is our culture, it is things that we have in our, in our access to, you know, to use it and we need support from our local, you know, community, you know. If we get support, we'll be able to produce more. So, you know, it, it depends on how much support that we get. And, you know, a good response will always create a market. And if persons are interested in getting one of your pieces, how can they contact you? Well, they can contact me by um, phone. My phone number is 646-353-2115. And that, you can get me on uh, WhatsApp. I haven't established my, you know, my um, contact on line as yet, but that you could catch, get me on my phone, WhatsApp. Well, thank you so much, David, and we wish you all the best. We are at Kong's Fest 2023, as we said previously, and we are with a vendor who has made some interesting jewelry. And you would not believe what she used to make the jewelry. Tell us about the pieces that you've made. Well, all of our pieces are unique pieces, but they're made from conch shells. So no piece is exactly the same thing because it's however they fall when you are cutting them out. So hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you there. They're all made from the conch shell. All made from the conch shell. And these are not my work per se, but this is my dad's work. So by extension, they're mine. But this is my dad's work. This is what he does now, and so he just 
cut them out. It's, I mean, it's a lot of work. So we have a lot of different pieces, even shapes of Union Island. And different independent pendants and stuff like that. So you will notice that they use just the natural coloring and everything like that, doesn't add anything to them. So this is what we do now. And then there are some other pieces, but they're all made from conch shells, recycling, using back the conch shells, well, using the entire conch. <laughs> uh, this is very unique because you see persons using the, the shell of the conch as uh, ornaments itself, the whole shell. Uh, we met a gentleman across uh, there, David. He said that the, he uses the inside of the shell, but you are using the entire shell to make um, these crafts, and I think it's very, very unique. All right, so if persons want to get you or your dad to get one of these pieces, how can we reach you? Easy to find George Samuel, because everybody know him on the island. So it's George Samuel, you can call our house phone, and that's 4588104. So it's easy to find us, you call the house number, and anybody will be able to help you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, and we wish you all the best. Continue making great pieces. Yes, thanks. Thank you very much. It's Wangu, the plain one, and the one with the peas is Wangu Pua. How long does it take to make the Wangu? Just about an hour. Because you have to put the peas to boil and then put pumpkin when it cooks. Put in the coconut juice, your salt, your flavoring. And when it starts boiling, then you put your can and you allow it to come in until it's soaked, when it's well cooked, then you turn it off. So um, you have wangu, what else do you have here today? Dumpling, coconut dumpling. And we have the pong soup. Which comprises of like dumpling, edos, the pong. A little kalaloo bush. It's just for the Kongs Fest today because the first we are coming out. But seeing that people like the food, we are planning to do it on a more regular basis. Well, today is the Kongs Festival Day. And today is the day when we would have all the competitions. And all, it's, it's like the Kong Fisher holiday. Where most of the Kongs, the Kongs man, as we term them in on Union Island, will come out and have an enjoyable day of fun, fun, fun fill activities. There's a host of games like the uh, competitions, like the Kongs blowing competition, the Kongs chopping competition. We just had the most handsome Kongs man. We had the ugliest Kongs man. Um, and we also have a lot of food vendors. So for persons who are watching, who may not know who you are and what you do, can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, I, my name is Stanton Gomes and I'm the chairman for the Union Island Tourist Board. The Tourist Board really um, overlooks all of the tourism affairs on the island. And right now we're in the process of putting together uh, a strategic plan, well, executing a strategic plan um, that would see more activities come to Union Island because we want to close the gap on the so-called dead season, which runs from like June all the way back to, to um, October. Um, because the current market, the current tourism market is a, is a yachting sector. So we're trying to focus on domestic tourism because the Tourism Authority does the international marketing. So we're focusing on domestic tourism, trying to get persons from the mainland to come down to see Union Island as a destination where they could come uh, and spend a week, spend a weekend and partake in all the stuff that we have to offer. Hiking, um, boating, the, the culinary arts, um, culture and everything else that you want to explore. Santa, not to keep you too long from the festivities, but what do you see this festival doing for the Grenadines and doing for our tourism products on a whole? Well, this is this is an emerging festival. The first one was in 2020, and it has grown. The first one was a big hit. This one, it, it feels like a festival that was around for years. Um, but it's a major culinary culinary festival, really. And in the future, we want to have like regional cook-off, regional food competition, cooking competition with nearby Grenada, Barbados. But it certainly adds another major event to the 
tickets to the calendar, the tourism calendar for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. All right, and in support of the Kongs Festival and tourism as a whole on the Grenadine Island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and St. Vincent, our mainland, tourism is everyone's business. Live it, love it, embrace it.